operation one operation that you do with matrices is you find their determinant and the determinant can be useful uh, with other kinds of matrix calculations if you have a two by two matrix the determinant is just this number times this number minus this number times this number uh, so if you write a matrix you say that's a b c d then the determinant of a is AD minus BC. So in this example right here, where A is the matrix 1, 3, 0, negative 2, the determinant of A is 1 times negative 2 minus 3 times 0, which is negative 2. So it's just AD minus BC. If I had the matrix 2, 3, negative 1, uh, 4, the determinant of C would be 2 times 4, 2 times 4, minus negative 1 times 3, or 8 plus 3, or 11. Now, that's just for a 2 by 2 matrix. For a 3 by 3 matrix, there's a nifty little trick you can do for coming up with the determinant. What you do is you have your original matrix, you can write it like that, And then you copy the first two columns over again. So 2, 0, negative 2, 3, 4, 1. So I just took these two columns and copied them over again. Then I draw these little diagonal lines. So 2, 4, negative 1, 3, 1, negative 2, Um, and then 1, 0, 1, and I multiply those, and then I have these diagonal lines, I go through like that, and I multiply those, and then I'm going to add together the ones that I multiplied this way, and I subtract those. Um, kind of covered up what I wrote before, so I'm going to write it again. So I've got 2, 0, negative 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 1, negative 1, and then I copy the first two columns over again, 2, 0, negative 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay, so now I'm going to multiply these three together. So 2 times 4 times negative 1 is negative 8. Then I multiply these together, 3 times 1 times negative 2, 3 times 1 is 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Now, so that was these, now I multiply these together, so plus 1 times 0 times 1 is 0, and then minus, I multiply these together, 1 times 4 is 4, times negative 2 is negative 8, so minus negative 8, and then minus 2 times 1 times 1 is 2, and then minus 3 times 0 times negative 1 is 0. So then I get my determinant. Negative 8 plus negative 6 is negative 14 plus 8 minus 2. Uh, so that's negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8. Okay, now you can also use a calculator with matrices. It makes life a whole lot easier. Let me show you how to do that. Um, so on your calculator, your matrix menu right here, second matrix, and then when you want to put a matrix in, you go over to edit, and then you choose which matrix you want to use, so matrix A. And in matrix A, I'm going to put the matrix that we just had a second ago, this matrix here, 2, 3, 1, 0, 4, 1, 2, 1, negative 1. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. So um, I put in the dimensions, 3 by 3, and then I put in the numbers, 2, <coughs> 3, 1, 0, 4, 1, negative 2, 1, whoa, 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 what did I do? Uh, 
two, three, one, zero, four, one, negative two, one, and negative one. Okay, so now I've entered that matrix. Remember, to enter a matrix, you go to second and matrix, and then over to edit, and then you can enter that matrix if you want to. Okay, now, if I want to find the determinant of that matrix, I go to second matrix, and over to math, and determinant is my first choice there, determinant. Now, I tell it what matrix I want the determinant of. I want the determinant of matrix A. And I get negative 8, which I hope is what I got. Hey, hey, that is what I got. Okay, you can also use the calculator to do matrix multiplication or addition, any of that kind of stuff. Let's say I wanted to multiply matrix A times matrix A. So I'd go to second matrix A times second matrix A, and there's the answer. Um, if I wanted to figure out what 2 times A was, there it is. Okay, so um, that's the first introduction to using the calculator with matrices. Uh, let's just check. Let's just for practice, we'll do the uh, determinant of this one, which was 1, 3, 0, negative 2. So matrix over to edit. I'll put this in matrix B. Matrix, it was a 2 by 2 matrix. And the matrix was 1, 3, 0, negative 2, 1, 3, 0, negative 2. And so the determinant of matrix B, then go to math, determinant, second matrix B. Ta -da. Now, let's think about it. Could I multiply matrix A times matrix B? So matrix A is a 3 by 3, matrix B is a 2 by 2. These two numbers are not the same, so I should not be able to multiply them. Let's see what happens. Matrix A times matrix B. Uh, dimension mismatch, so it doesn't work. So in fact, you cannot multiply those. So clear. Okay, so that's determinants. Um, let's look at a new example. Okay, so let's say our problem is as follows, that I have to solve um, an equation Oh, no, 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 let's find an inverse. We're going to find an inverse of the two matrices. I want to find the inverse of matrix B above. So I want to find the inverse of B, which is 1, 0, 3, negative 2. So to find the inverse of a matrix. Um, if our matrix, it's a 2 by 2 matrix, our matrix is A, B, C, D then the inverse, which I'd write as B negative 1, is going to equal 1 over AD minus BC times, now I swap the positions of A and D, so D, A, and then I change the signs of B and C. So this becomes negative B, negative C. So the inverse of matrix B is 1 over a times D, so 1 times negative 2, minus B times C, 3 times 0, times the matrix where I swap these two, so I'll put negative 2 and 1, and I change the signs of these two, so this becomes negative 3, and the opposite of 0 is just 0. So this is 1 over uh, negative 2 minus 0 times negative 2, negative 3, 0, 1, or negative 1 half times negative 2, negative 3, 0, 1, or 1, 3 halves, 0, negative 1 half, 
And let's see if that's the same thing we get on the calculator. So I believe I already had that in matrix B. Let's check and see. Matrix B was 1, 3, 0, negative 2, yes. So to find the inverse, I'll do matrix B inverse. And I get 1, 1.5, 0, negative 0.5 which is what we got when we did it by hand. So that's good. Okay, uh, let's do one more problem here. Um, let's say I want to solve for x and y in the following system. So I have Four, one, it's kind of, what I'm reading from is kind of blurry, so four, one, three, negative two, x, one, times the matrix nine, negative two, two, one, negative one, four, equals the matrix y, five, negative 13, and 11. Okay, so I have two matrices multiplied times each other equals another matrix. So first I need to do this matrix multiplication. So this matrix has dimensions two rows by three columns. It's a two by three matrix. This matrix has the dimensions three rows by two columns. It's a three by two matrix. Can I multiply these two together? Yes, because these two numbers are the same. What should be the dimensions of my product? My product should be a two by two matrix, which is good because that's what this is. So when I multiply these together, I multiply row times column. So first row times first column. Four times nine is 36. 36 plus two is 38. 38 plus well, okay, so four times nine is 36. I'll just, I'll go ahead and write it all out. So it's 36 plus two plus negative three. So that's the first row times the first column. Now I'll take the second row times the first column. The second row times the first column is negative two times nine is negative 18 plus x times two is two x plus one times negative one is negative one. Now I'll take the first row times the second column. Four times negative two is negative eight. One times one is one, so plus one, plus three times four, plus 12. Second row, second column, negative two times negative two is four, plus x times one, plus x, plus one times four is four. So I multiplied those together. Those have to equal y5, negative 13, 11. All right, so what do I get? 36 plus two is 38, minus three is 35. Negative eight plus one is negative seven. Negative seven plus 12 is five. Negative 18 plus two x plus negative one, gather like terms, that's negative 19 plus two x. Four plus x plus four is eight plus x. That has to equal y5, negative 13, 11. Well, let's notice something. 5 has to equal 5. Well, good, it does, because what we can do is we'll just say position by position, these have to equal each other. 35 has to equal y. Oh, well, good, that tells us what y is. 35 equals y, so we're done with that. 5 equals 5, yes, but that doesn't give us any good information. Negative nine plus two x has to equal negative 13. I could use that to solve for x, but it looks to me like this last one will be a little bit easier to solve for x. Eight plus x has to equal 11. So eight plus x equals 11, or x equals three. So that gives me my values for x and y. 35 equals y, x equals three.